Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new around here, my name is Alfie, aka Quantum Casa. I hope you all had an amazing New Year's. We're in 2020. Wow. You know? <laughs> So basically, I went to the shop, to be precise, I went to the co-op or wherever you're from in London, the cooperative, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, to be honest, looked upon the shelf and basically I saw these iced coffees. I was like, Alfie, Alfie, that's a brilliant idea. Why don't you drink more coffee on camera for people's entertainment? And that is what we're doing. Stated, I went to the co-op and just like most superstores, supermarkets, Sainsbury's, Cooperatives, whatever you want to call them. They have their own like branded stuff. So I got here the cooperative branded iced coffee. But it's not just called an iced coffee. They've gone the extra mile. They called it the iced coffee caramel frappe. Bit long. It's a bit unnecessary because it's just an iced coffee really. There's no frappe about it. There's no straw which makes it a frappe because fraps, frappuccinos, you need a straw. It says here it's an Arabica bean and Basically, if you've watched this channel long enough, or if you haven't, that basically just confirms this coffee. You know when people try and act posh to you or act fancy? Oh yes, we have this Arabica bean. It's our speciality. Just look at them confused and be like, you've just told me it, it's coffee. It's 100% coffee. That's all it is. It means nothing. There are a lot of ingredients for something that should be as simple as coffee, milk, Caramel flavoring, really. What is all of this? What is a stabilizer? Why, why, why is there something called a stabilizer in an iced coffee? As you do with all iced drinks, you give it a little shake. See that? That's called skill. You see how it landed up the top? The, the lid here. It means like I'm destined for greatness. You know? <laughs> it's got this like irony kind of note to it, and like a kind of like I've been sat on the shelf for months kind of taste. The Cooperative Iced Caramel Frappe is a 2 out of 5 for me. <laughs> How the film people kind of sink everything. Jimmy's Iced Coffee Original. Coffee plus milk. Well done mate, you're on a medal for that. Uh, <laughs> if I owned a coffee shop or a coffee uh, company with iced coffee, I'd seek the most fruitiest coffee with the most fruitiest notes. And I'd make iced coffee out of that because you know, summer times, everyone wants the vibe. Fruity coffee will just be mwah, amazing. You know what I mean? Anyway, on the back here, it says it's Arabica coffee. Pfft, what more do you want me to say? Oh, look, I like the other iced coffee. It says here that it's sourced from Halua and Colombia, which is good because Colombian coffee is normally one of the best coffees out there. Ingredients, skimmed milk, Arabica coffee, water, unrefined demarara, sugar, De <laughs> English is my only language. That is the problem. I, I and I can't do it. I really struggle. It just tastes of nothing. Like if you could put nothing in a in a can and call it coffee, this is what this would be. No offense, Jimmy's, Timmy's, or whatever your name is. Um, I've got love for you. I appreciate the branding. I appreciate you know the the knowledge on the side of the can. It is slightly refreshing. You add some maybe a syrup or ice cubes. Dunno, it might it might work. I'm gonna give it a one. You know, like you you're probably thinking, Alfie, a one is quite savage. Uh yeah, because I, I am savage. I'm a savage individual. What I've got here is the Califia Farms. Um they changed their name, didn't they? Yeah, okay anyway. Mocha Neuer 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 not Neuer. No, no. Anyway, it says here it's a cold brew mocha. I'll accept, I'll accept it as a cold brew, but it is a cold brew. I respect that. It's, they're not calling it an iced coffee. I respect that a lot because it's not an iced coffee. It's a cold brew. It's exactly what it says, but the Americans call a cold brew a nitro ice. Like, they normally have like this nitro ice thing, which if you have it, you won't sleep for like three weeks. And this is with almond milk. And it's dairy free. I gathered that when you said almond milk on it. A dangerously delicious mix of cold brew coffee, double dark chocolate, and creamy smooth almonds. You have to you have to be good. What? You have to be good, but you don't have to be it just sentencing that ain't a word, is it? But it is it is now. Uh does not make sense for me. But the packaging, the attire. It looks nice. It is very 
feng shui. You know what I mean? I like it. You shake it, like boom. You saw nothing. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm a fan. Califia, I'm a fan. And I'm not just saying this because I worked with you guys before. This in a glass with some ice on a summer's day. Oh, amazing, amazing like the sky is blue. You know what I mean? I'm giving it a four. True start coffee and it is 100% Arabica coffee. Just, it's just tiring, you know, that they all make the same mistake. No one needs to know it's 100% Arabica, to be honest. Just tell me where it's from. Oh, it's a Colombian blend we, with a medium roast. Oh, thank you very much. Um, anyway, it says here it's vanilla coconut cold brew. So they're not calling it an iced coffee. I'm, I'm, thank you. You know what? Ugh. Ugh. I'll be dead honest. That is disastrous. And if I was a judge on X Factor, it would be a no. No wonder it was still on the shelf in the shop. Yeah, this is zero, it's not nice. It, nothing about it is good. We've got a mocha frappuccino from the one and only Starbucks. They don't really stay, I don't think that the fine, the fine print is quite fine print, if that makes sense. Uh, milk drink with Starbucks, Arabica coffee. Thank you for telling me it's coffee. Don't want it to drop because if it drops, I'll be sad. Uh, yeah, it's shaken. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. It's good. It's quite sweet. Starbucks stuff is always sweet. Not the biggest fan of sweet things, but yeah, I'm a fan of that. And honestly, Starbucks, it's a five out of five for ice drinks sold in shops. I think it's good.